What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings addict, bringing my top picks for Tuesday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it real quick, man. We have a short, short slate today with only four games, so let's go ahead and jump into Draft Dashboard, guys. Uh, this is the software that I use for my research. Please uh, check out the uh, link in the description of this video. 30-day uh, trial for $1. All right, so we got a point guard right here. Um, I'm just going to give you a couple plays from each position, guys. Um, again, it's a small four-game slate. I will play light and save your money for tomorrow. I think we have an 11-game slate tomorrow. Um, but up top, I like John Wall uh, paying up at uh, at point guard. Save the $700 from Dame Lillard. And get John Wall. He, he's at home versus the Clippers. Um, he has high usage, high minutes, and he's averaging around 40 DraftKings points the last couple of games. So um, I would get John Wall on this slate at home. All right, I heard they had some issues in the locker room or whatever, but John Wall going to show out at home. So um, as my value guy or the, the cheaper guy, I like Spencer Dinwiddie. Again, he's been stepping up in the absence of Levert, um, playing around 27-plus minutes a game and, and averaging around 27 DraftKings points. So, And he has a high usage at 23%. All right, so I like me some uh, Spencer Dinwiddie versus Miami. Uh, this should be a good game right here, guys. You see he had a 40-point game a couple games ago. So um, I like uh, Spencer Dinwiddie at, at the value. Also put uh, this Gigliosa's kid on here, man. He had a nice game versus uh, Washington earlier in the season. And this is going to be a high-scoring game. So I do like this young man here at only 5K. All righty. His production over the last three games hasn't been that great. He's on a little bit of a, uh, a cold streak. But um, I like him to jump out in this game right here at 5K. So a shooting guard, again, just give you a couple of plays that I like on this uh, at this spot. Bradley Bill, man, I I'm done with him, man. He, he just hadn't been doing it the last couple of games, but who knows? He could go off this game, but uh, I, I like Tim Hardaway Jr. at home versus Portland. High over and under game, high usage player, high minutes, averaging around 35 DraftKings points. All right, I like him. Again, we talked about them we did already. I also like uh, Lou Williams too, just FYI, but uh, again, I'm just going to give you a couple of picks from each uh, each position. So that's uh, my shooting guards at Small Fort. Let's go ahead and go with, uh, we definitely want to get some Tobias Harris, especially if, uh, um, What's his name? God, I'll get the other four. Gallinari. If he's still out sick, he was ill yesterday, and he did not play. But if he's out again, I like me some more Tobias Harris. All righty. Um, Afrika Aminu. I like this guy. He does a lot around peripherals. You know, his usage is not that high, but he gets a lot of rebounds and assists and stuff like that. So um, I do like him, man. Only 4.7K in this matchup. 220 over and under. Should be able to get a lot of rebounds um, and, and maybe a couple of steals, too. So I like Afrika Minu. Um, Joe Harris is somebody I was considering. All right. And Evan Fournier, too, is also somebody I was considering. But um, I look, I'm looking at top value when it comes to price uh, versus production. So um, Power 4, guys, Montrez Harrell. Again, um, if there's injuries over there in uh, Los Angeles, I definitely want me some more Montrez Harrell. As you see, he put up 55 yesterday. 55. All righty. So I like this guy here, Montrez Harrell. Man, he's a beast. All right. Sergi Baca. Like him as well, 6K, um, coming off a day's rest versus this uh, paced up Toronto team. I'm uh, not Toronto, Orlando team. So 6K, I know it doesn't look good on this side, but I do like um, Hassan White. Not Hassan White side, good Lord. Serge Ibaka in this matchup, he's projected at 30 DraftKings points, which is almost five times value. So I do like Ibaka in this matchup. Um, last but not least, our center position. I kind of said it already, but uh, Hassan White side, man, I pretty much play any center versus Brooklyn, guys. All right, Hassan is 8K. All righty. His last couple of games, 35, 37, and 24. But um, I do like him versus the Brooklyn team. Should be a lot of rebounds to go around. All righty. Um, in this matchup. So just too good of a matchup to pass up on my side, especially on a small four-game slate. If he has one of those 60-point games and we don't have him, um, we're going to be in trouble. So I do like white side. We already talked about Harold. Dwight Howard is, uh, is has his little glute issue or whatever, you know, sore butt. So anyway, um, no, keep out on that news. But I wasn't really on on Howard to begin with. But he is in a plus matchup, all right, versus the Clippers. So um, that's pretty much all my top plays, guys. At each position, again, just a couple of plays. And so on draft dashboard, once you select your your favorite plays, you can go over it to the lineup optimizer and let it optimize and spit out a lineup for you guys. And so as you can see. This is what it spit out for me on DraftKings. It does the same thing on FanDuel. But um, we got Dinwiddie, Oubre, 
Aminu, Ibaka, Whiteside, Lou Williams, Tobias Harris, and Tim Hardaway Jr. Ooh, I actually like that one. All right, because Kelly Oubre has been doing pretty good the last couple of games. As you can see right here, 37, 27, and 21 in his last three games. And he's only 4.6K. Uh, so um, if you don't like Oubre, you can do an upgrade. We got a couple of hundred bucks left. So I can go up to Magruder if I want to take advantage of some of the injuries at the guard at Miami. Or if I want to ride Terrence uh, Ross, if I think he's great. Or if I want to go down to uh, Tobias Harris. I mean, not Tobias Harris, but Joe Harris, who's been playing a lot in the absence of Levert. So... As you can see, you can tweak it, and then once you tweak it, you can upgrade from Tim Hardaway Jr. if you like to Nurkic, you know, if you want to get another big, and then you save it. So, there you go. So, good luck on today's slate, guys. It's only four games. You know, again, I will play light and save my money for tomorrow's 11-game slate. But uh, good luck, and I'll holler at you guys tomorrow.